Guys, I have something to tell you. Today, I got a new hamster. So I'm sure you're probably wondering, um, what do you mean you got a new hamster? What are you talking about? Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain all of this as fast as possible. A couple days ago, about a week ago, I got a text from my friend, the one that I was um, taking care of Chandler for. And she said, hey, do you want my hamster? And I was like, yeah, I do. So pretty much we talked about it and pretty much my friend who had Chandler, which you guys already know him from some of my Christmas vlogs. She has a very busy life. She is a cheerleader and she has to go to a lot of away games and things like that or away meets, I guess you would say, not games. She's constantly having to travel and I guess she just doesn't have the time for Chandler anymore. And she was wondering if I could take care of him because she knew that I had, that he had a really great time when he was at my house and just like, do you want him? And of course I said yes. Today we coordinated and she brought him over and I'm so excited for it. He's almost two years old, which is a little old, but he looks still pretty healthy. I'm going to show you guys his cage, which is going to look very similar to what I already showed you guys. And apparently he does not bite. However, whenever I was taking care of him back when it was closer to Christmas, he did nip me. So I'm a little unsure of how comfortable I am gonna be around him. I'm a, a little bit uncertain because like with Rhino, I know how he's gonna react. I know his temperament and everything. So I'm a little unsure about Chandler's, but overall he seems quite sweet. So anyways, you guys already know what he looks like, but I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna show you guys the cage setup and everything that I have going on. So sorry about the lighting change and everything, but this is where his cage is going to be. So this is actually where Rhino's cage used to be as you guys already know. And then of course over here we have Rhino's cage. Yeah, I'm very sorry. It is a little messy. I do have like a couple of like trash and things random, but this is what his cage looks like, you guys already know. It smells quite bad, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that she may not have been cleaning this out because there was like a lot of pee and stuff. So I'm probably gonna just trash all this sand to put in new sand because it smells quite strong of pee. So I'm probably just gonna like take this out right now, to be honest. And then tonight I'm going to clean the cage. I am going to clean the bedding out because I don't think that that has been changed since I changed it. I pretty much asked my parents about it and they know that he is an older hamster and also that like she is a f my friend. If this was just a hamster like that I had seen on Craigslist, it would have been like absolutely not. But since it was my friend and since I had already been taking care of him for like two weeks before that, I think that they kind of saw that like it doesn't, it's not a huge deal or anything so yeah since i already have all of the supplies bedding and things like that i am going to vlog tonight when i'm cleaning out the cage and everything i'm actually probably just going to go switch out the sand right now and fill up the water bottle and we'll do the rest of the cleaning tonight and by the way sorry about like this constant switching back and forth but i'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the cage because I did think that she was gonna bring over her other wire cage, but she didn't. So I'm not sure how I'm going to make this cage bigger because as you guys can see, it is not the largest and he was really just in this for the time that I was taking care of him. But now that it's gonna be more of a personal arrangement, I definitely want to get a bigger cage. That is it. I mean, this is so exciting for me. Like I was freaking out this morning and just like this is what I've always wanted is to have like two Syrian hamsters or just two hamsters in general and I've only ever had two hamsters like a while ago back when I had Little Bear and Leonardo which Leonardo was actually the hamster that I got from her brothers so I guess I'm just like the hamster inheritor now as you guys can see this entire section of the sand is just like completely soiled like this entire side so I'm gonna have to like scrape that out 
So whenever I gave her Chandler back, I gave her this whole thing of sand, but I guess she didn't use it. This is what he came with, some bedding, some food, which is the food that I feed Rhino anyway, so that's actually kind of nice. Um, this is actually a sand like thing, which is not a great size for Syrians, but it actually kind of works like for dwarfs and stuff. And then we have some treats, some other food, which I probably won't be using. Um, dust, which you're not really supposed to use dust. It's mo you're more supposed to use like sand because they can't really use dust too well. And then we have this, but it's all out. So that's what we got going on. Three hours later. Hey guys, so it's a bit later. It's, um, 8.30 almost. I really do need to clean out his cage because I can tell that it stinks and I don't think that there's really gonna ever be a better time for me to clean out his cage because it really needs it. Update though, by the way, sorry about this lighting. I did actually already clean out the wheel today, so that's clean and I cleaned out the sand pit, so that's all nice and clean. No more of that very stinky sand and pee in there, so. Guys, Chandler just came out. Hey, bud, bud. Lighting is a little better. Hello, bud, bud. Hey, he's definitely a little bit slimmer since um, when I first got him last time, and I think that's just because he's been running on his wheel a little bit more. I'm gonna give him a treat. See how he, he does good with taking treats, so that's really good. It's good that he's awake, because I need to get him out of here really quick. very slow all right I got him don't do it don't jump okay I'm gonna take him to the bathroom all right so I transferred Chandler um, to the bathroom and it's now time for me to clean out his cage which definitely needs it I don't think it's actually been cleaned since um, the last time I cleaned it, which was before Christmas. That's just my estimations. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if she cleans it or not. Also, I don't want to be like totally bashing my friend here because I definitely understand why she's getting rid of him. She's like, she just doesn't have time for him, which I totally get that. And I don't want to judge anybody who, f who feels like they need to get rid of their hamster because they don't have time. Because if you don't have time, then the best thing to do is just to give your hamster to someone who does. I definitely respect her for realizing that and just realizing that maybe he needs someone who has more time, which I definitely do have more time and I obviously have the will uh, to do so. But anyways, I'm just frantically trying to do this as fast as possible. Things are falling. It's getting hectic. Cage, I want to give it a bit of a natural look, something that he's probably not gotten a lot of before. So I want to give him this Hey Hide, which I got from Marissa. If you watched her hamster swap, if you haven't, go check that out. I would definitely recommend it. So this is the basic tour for Little Chandler's cage at the moment. We have a little water dish, food, a tree. I'm gonna scatter feed some around the cage as well once he gets in here. It's hide out and just it's really basic. It's not a large cage so there's not much I can do with it at the moment. But I'm gonna go get Chandler and see what he thinks of it. Chandler! Come here buddy! Alright guys, I'm just gonna try to get him back in here so I can take him back. Come here!
transfer him back. I actually carried him back. He did look a bit uncomfortable being held, but that's pretty normal, especially because I don't like, I know that she's, um, my friend definitely has handled him a bit, but probably not too, too much. So, yeah. Oh, he's chewing on it. Oh, that's good. That's the little hay ball that Marissa got me, so I put it in there for him to chew on if he wants to. He's definitely better at running on the wheel now, so that's really good. Definitely not as fast as Reinster's over here, though. This man runs speed of light. Okay, guys, so this is pretty much Chandler. I call him Chandler the Manler or Chan the Man, and he's still getting over his fear of getting off of the hay house. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much his adoption or his intake, whatever you want to call it. Me getting Chandler forever for Evzies. I'm so excited and I hope he enjoys it. He's actually been chewing on this a lot. Um, I just got a video of him chewing on it. So um, thank you, Marissa, for getting me that. He seems to really like it and his cage is all nice and clean. I scatter fed some of his food and I think he's just really gonna enjoy his time here. So uh, without further ado, if you guys wanna see more videos with Chandler, give this video a like, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.